300 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. This is an amazing milestone and may we have many more to come. Seriously guys, I cannot thank you enough for this great milestone to reach. It's been a dream of mine for ages to get big on YouTube and seeing a channel of mine hit 300 is actually incredible. So thank you guys so much and I really hope that you enjoy this 300 subscriber celebration I have put together. In today's video, to celebrate 300 subscribers, I'm going to be going around to each of the tents that I've built down here in the bush and give a rundown into the thought process and how they came to be what they are today and just kind of tell you my way of coming up with these ideas and how I then incorporate it into a video. So if you're interested in that, stick around and let's get into the first tent. The original tent. This is where the project kind of began. This is the main tent and the first tent that I started of this project. This is where it all began, and this tent has evolved quite a lot over time, with a whole new room added. This tent here, I guess you could call it the first tent of this project, but if you've been watching Bush Life for a while, you know it was technically the second, but the first one I had to move due to council reasons, but essentially it's the same tent in a different spot. So, we're just going to call it the first. Now, essentially, this thing changed quite a bit in the de design phase. When I first moved it, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to go for in terms of the look, design, interior, so it did change quite a bit. And eventually, I decided I wanted to add on a side room, so that's what we've got here. And as time kind of went on, it's evolved. Originally, I wanted to fully enclose it with this stuff, but I decided I actually kind of like the more open feel and kind of just went for this as a side wall instead and left the rest all open. Now, I did eventually also add some solar lights in, which are pretty sweet at night. And I've changed the roof design quite a bit just to incorporate because water would build up on the roof. That's not good because it strains the ropes, the tarp. So yeah, that was changed quite a bit to change that. Coming in here, I've got two seats for me and my partner and there's some spare ones in the side room for when I've got people over. This is kind of just where I store most of my main stuff. We've got my storage tray, my bookshelves, my main table. This is just kind of where I kind of keep everything together. It's where I kind of just started everything down here and it's been a good little spot and it's probably the most, I guess, used tent out of the ones I have down here. The OG tent, a recreation of the original tent that I had to move and has stood the test of time. This tent here is a recreation of the original tent, the one I had to take down due to those council reasons. Being the second tent I built down here, it's pretty much just a copy of the original tent, even down to the tree at the back that's arching over. Now the interior isn't the same because obviously I used that stuff over there, but the roofing and general layout is the same, and I guess it's just a bit of a nostalgic memory that I just have down here for those who have been here since day one, have watched the place grow. It's just a bit of a look back onto what I used to actually kind of sit in. It's got the original flooring. It even has my old um, Harry Potter thing I had on my original bag from those early episodes that's been nailed to the tree the whole time. Yeah, it's quite a sweet spot. And if we come and look out this way, you can see I have a rocky outline of this garden area I cleared out. I just thought it looked quite nice out the front here, and I've got to say, it's probably one of the more prouder projects and ideas I've done down here. As far as designing this went, it was pretty simple. I just kind of took what I built before and put it down here. And I did go through a few stages where I was trying to get it so um, the back held down properly eventually. Just got nailed on the tree there and that solved the problem because ropes get snapping because they're old. But I've got to say, it's probably one of my favourite tents down here just because it reminds me of those good old days. And yeah, it's been a bit of a nightmare keeping the water off but it eventually got the pole dug in at the right height, right angle and it's been fine ever since. I've got to say, it's a nice addition down here in the bush. Oh, hello, what's this? A subscriber checkpoint? Why don't you go hit that subscriber button? The 
garden tent. It never truly lived up to its purpose, but it's functional, and I guess at the end of the day, that's all you need. The garden tent. If I'm gonna be honest, it's probably my least favorite tent. It just nothing went right with it. Like the, okay. Getting the logs to build this thing was a pain in itself, having to drag them out of a flash flood. And the pots, eh, no easy. Oh, oh my, getting this tarp up was an actual pain. It was meant to be a gazebo, and do you want to see the gazebo now? Well, that's the gazebo right there. It didn't work out, it was just too old and it fell apart. I didn't have anything to get another, so I had to make do with what I had. Oh boy, it was a nightmare to build this thing, but the original idea was meant to be a gazebo with tarps hanging down the side, side kind of enclosing it all in. This is what we got. And I also fell through the roof, which is not ideal, but it's fine. But yeah, it's been a rough ride with this tent. There used to be a pole in the middle, now there's a rope going through, and, and the whole process of trying to get this one up just didn't work out. It was an honest nightmare. Easily my least favorite tent. It doesn't even look good. Paranormal tent. Originally a little bush excluded area. Now it's own tent and I reckon the overall result is quite nice. The paranormal tent. Honestly, I really like this one. It's a completely different color scheme from all the rest and the gray I think just really fits the vibe. Now, if you don't know, there's been potential paranormal activity down here in the bush and I thought I'd just dedicate an area to it. I used to do videos on it back before bush life and I thought this would be a cool little callback to that. And honestly, I really kind of just like the small little details of this place. You can see here I've just got some small decorations, that old power line piece, um, one of the logs. Yeah, I think overall it's a pretty sweet little spot. And one of my favorite parts is this little path coming out from the garden area here, going on in. Now, the design of this all wasn't easy to in biscuits, you know. I originally had a completely different tarp. It was a barbecue cover. And oh boy, it just did not work trying to set it up with that. Eventually got a new tarp, and you know what, that's done the trick ever since. Problemo solvedo. But if you want to know what happened to the barbecue cover that was originally meant to do that, um, this is what happened to it today. It's just been nailed here to the trees, kind of, ever since, filling up with who knows what. So yeah, that's... that's great! Also, I just want to point out, look at these mushrooms, they are... holy moly, they are massive, look at them. Look at those shrooms. The dining tent, an area for friends and me and my partner to hang out and chill. I think it serves its purpose. The dining tent area here. I absolutely enjoyed building this. I built it after taking a bit of a break. And I've got to say, I think it was a really good build to come back with and do. Now, the design process worked out perfectly. This is exactly what I had in my head, and that's exactly how it came to be. I built this because I wanted a different spot to have this table away from the creek bed when it floods, just so it didn't rot. And also because it was just not doing well on the weather there. And I've got to say, I really like how this has turned out. It's a real sweet spot. And I also love this little bench here. I think it's so nice. And yes, I just love it. Of course, coming out this way, it's also got a little pathway to the pond area, which I do oh so love as well. We got corn, we got pumpkins, we got kale, we got seats, we got moss, we got pagodas, we got rocks. This was a very late idea in the development process in those last few episodes before the final project. I've got to say, I think it was worth it. And I've got to say, I'm really happy with how it's turned out next to the dining tent area. I think it's marvellous. Storage tent. The final tent that I built down here in the bush. A very useful tent that serves up its use well. The storage tent here. I thought was a great little final addition to my bush encampment and I think serves its purpose quite well. Now if you don't know basically when the floods came through it completely wiped the main tent. It just flooded it. 
I needed somewhere to safely store my stuff. So right up the back, far away from the creek and from everything, I have this. It's kind of where I store everything and any other future stuff I may need. I've got a little shelf here, which I quite like. We've got this old thing. Oh, I've got to say, I would really like sitting here, looking out onto the bush. It's real peaceful, it is. And I also like to just sit here and just whack an axe into the ground, because why not? Originally, this tent was actually going to be a mega luxury tent, kind of like combining all the tents together, but then I decided, one, yeah, that ain't happening with my budget, and two, that just felt kind of pointless to actually put down here. And I figured a storage tent would actually work a lot better, and I'm so glad I went with that idea instead. I've got to say, it has turned out a lot better, and is honestly probably my number one tent right now, just because I love the openness of it. And just sitting down here in the afternoons, oh, it is absolutely incredible. I can't get enough of it. Beautiful spot. And that wraps up my little talk about each of the tents, how they came to be, my thoughts on each one, and what do you guys think? Do you guys agree? What's your least favourite tent? What's your most favourite tent? Thank you so much for watching this video. Seriously, 300 subscribers means the world to me. Thanks for joining me on this journey, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, <laughs> be raining down here, guys. Rain has come through. Rain has come through. I love me a good rain. Good rainfall. Oh, yeah, it's getting heavy, all right. Ho oh. ho. I love me a nice rainfall. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.